Let us now pray the Oratio Imperata for protection against COVID-19. Please all kneel. Merciful and compassionate Father, we come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand, dispel the fear of sickness and death, restore our hope, and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. We thank you for the vaccines developed, made possible by your guiding hands. Bless our efforts to use these vaccines to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body, strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Joseph, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel, Pray for us. San Roque, Pray for us. San Lorenzo Ruiz, Pray for us. San Pedro Calungson, Pray for us. Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please stand as we begin our Eucharistic celebration. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and entrust ourselves to God's merciful love. Lord Jesus, you give us new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us. Forgive us our sins and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, from whom all good things come, grant that we who call on you in our need may at your prompting discern what is right and by your guidance do it. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. Please be seated. A reading from the second letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, to this day, whenever Moses is read, a veil lies over the hearts of the children of Israel. But whenever a person turns to the Lord, the veil is removed. Now the Lord is the Spirit, and where the Spirit of the Lord is, there is freedom. All of us, gazing with unveiled face on the glory of the Lord, are being transformed 
into the image from glory to glory as from the Lord who is the Spirit. Therefore, since we have this ministry through the mercy shown us, we are not discouraged. And even though our gospel is veiled, it is veiled for those who are perishing, in whose case the God of this age has blinded the minds of the unbelievers so that they may not see the light of the gospel of the glory of Christ, who is the image of God. For we do not preach ourselves, but Jesus Christ as Lord, and ourselves as your slaves for the sake of Jesus. For God who said, Let light shine out of darkness, has shown in our hearts to bring to light the knowledge of the glory of God on the face of Jesus Christ. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. I will hear what God proclaims, the Lord, for He proclaims peace to His people. Near indeed is His salvation to those who fear Him, glory dwelling in our land. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Kindness and truth shall meet, justice and peace shall kiss. Truth shall spring out of the earth and justice shall look down from heaven. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. The Lord himself will give his benefits. Our land shall yield its increase. Justice shall walk before him and salvation along the way of his steps. The glory of the Lord will dwell in our land. Please stand. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, I tell you, unless your righteousness surpass that of the scribes and Pharisees, you will not enter the kingdom of heaven. You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, You shall not kill, and whoever kills will be liable to judgment. But I say to you, whoever is angry with his brother will be liable to judgment, and whoever says to his brother, Raka, will be answerable to the Sanhedrin. And whoever says, you fool, will be liable to fiery Gehenna. Therefore, if you bring your gift to the altar, and there recall that your brother has anything against you, leave your gift there at the altar. Go first and be reconciled with your brother, and then come and offer your gift. Settle with your opponent quickly while on the way to court with him. Otherwise, your opponent will hand you over to the judge, and the judge will hand you over to the guard, and you will be thrown into prison. Amen, I say to you, you will not be released until you have paid the last penny.
The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. My dear brothers and sisters, in our first reading today, St. Paul uses the image of a veil in order to describe something that blocks something that hinders an obstruction or a barrier. And St. Paul says that a veil covers our understanding. And yet, when we turn to God, the veil is removed and everything becomes clear. Kapag ang isang bagay ay nalalambungan, hindi natin makita ng lubusan na aninag lamang natin. Pero kapag tayo daw ay bumaling sa Panginoon, mawawala ang lambong at makikita natin ng Diyos na maliwanag ng malinaw. In our gospel, Jesus talks of murder that is rooted in anger. And anger is also like a veil that covers and hinders our relationship with one another. Kapag may gali tayo sa ating puso, nalalambungan din ang ating pakikipag-ugnayan sa bawat isa. So much so that if there is anger in our hearts, then we could not relate well with one another. Kapag may galit, hirap na hirap tayo makipag-ugnayan. Kapag may galit, ni hindi natin maharap o makausap ang ibang tao. At minsan hindi lang yung taong kagalit natin. Dahil sa galit natin, lahat ng tao naapektuhan. And Jesus even tells us in our gospel that if you are going to offer your gift to God and you remember that your brother has something against you, then leave your gift. Go to your brother. Be reconciled with him first. And after you have reconciled with him, that's the time you return to offer your gift to God. Because the veil of anger affects even our relationship with God. My dear brothers and sisters, today let us check ourselves. Let us check our hearts. What are the veils that we have put up in our lives? Is my heart veiled with anger? Is my heart veiled with resentment and bitterness? Ang aking bang puso na lalambungan ng galit, ng hinanakit, ng sama ng loob sa aking kapwa? What are the veils that prevent me from relating well with others and relating well with God? And am I willing to remove that veil? Sometimes, we keep that veil of anger. Ayaw nating alisin yung galit. Lalo pa nating pinagtatakpan, tinatakpan ng ating puso ng lambong ng galit. Kaya hindi tayo makapag-ugnayan sa Diyos at sa ating kapwa. Today, Jesus tells us, Remove that veil of anger so that you may relate well with each other as true brothers and sisters in our one Father in heaven. Remove that veil so that we may be able to love each other truly. And how do we remove that veil? Through reconciliation through forgiveness, through love. When we are willing to forgive, 
and we are willing to ask forgiveness, then the veil of anger is removed. If we are willing to love each other, a love that is expressed in our willingness to forgive, then the veil of anger is removed. Remember that when Jesus died on the cross, the curtain that veils the Holy of Holies in the Temple of Jerusalem was torn from top to bottom. Nawasak yung kurtina na siyang naghahati, naglalayo sa pagitan ng pinakabanal na, na lugar sa templo at sa sambayanan. Because by virtue of Jesus' death on the cross, because of the love that was poured by Jesus by offering His life for our salvation, there is no more veil between God and man. God reveals Himself totally because we have been reconciled with Him. My dear brothers and sisters, today, let us turn to Jesus and let us ask Him to help us remove the veil of anger in our hearts through humility and through forgiveness so that we may relate with each other more compassionately and we may love each other more sincerely. Please stand. Let us pray to God that we, His people, who have experienced His forgiveness, may bring the joy of reconciliation to the world. For every petition, let us say, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. That the Church may truly become a sacrament for the world through the ministry of reconciliation, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That those who are rightly committed to causes of justice and human liberation may not only accuse and protest, but recognize and uproot sin in their own hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. That married couples who are estranged from one another may become to forgive, understand, and appreciate one another. Once again, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. That we may be healed of our pride and be humble enough to accept our faults and failures so that we may live peaceably with one another. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. That the dead may live in eternal peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Let us pray in silence for our personal petitions. Let us remember the people who need our prayers and the intentions offered in this Mass. Heavenly Father, deliver us from hardness of heart and grant that we may be always ready to seek reconciliation and heal any form of division. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated.
Please stand. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may become acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Look kindly upon our service, O Lord, we pray, that what we offer may be an acceptable oblation to you and lead us to grow in charity through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for just as through your beloved Son you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels, as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, Heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Please kneel. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Please stand. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Broderick, our Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, 
O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray to the Father as Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin, and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. <clears throat> Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Please kneel. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I, am I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Act of Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Please stand. Let us pray. May your healing work, O Lord, free us, we pray, from doing evil, and lead us to what is right, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Yeah. 